Hey guys, it's Dr. Pitt. And today, we're gonna be talking about someone who influenced the world of medical history, science, and furthered women's rights, and has helped many of my coworkers' lives. We're gonna be talking about the one and only, Rita Levi Montalusini. Yep. Also, while I'm talking to you about this, I'm gonna show you a few tricks. Let's get started. Rita Levi Montalcini was born in Turin on April 22nd, 1909. She grew up very rich with loving and gifting parents, with her dad being an electrical engineer and also a gifted mathematician, while her mom was a talented printer and an amazing human being. Now, the first thing I made was oobleck. I, I can't, can't really see it, but like, I'll show you. So look, you can like, if you like go soft, it like doesn't do anything, but if you solid. Also, don't forget your science book. At the age of 20, she went to medical school. While studying, she gained an interest in the nervous system. After that, she went on to graduate in 1936 at the age of 27, which began her career as an assistant to the famous histologist, Giuseppe Levi. I also wanna ask you a question. What happens when you mix green and red? What color do you get? You get get yellow while being his assistant she learned a spectacular trick on silver staining nerve cells which allowed them to be seen more clearly under a microscope isn't that amazing in 1946 she left her job because she got invited to a university in Washington she continued to work there until 1956, where she got promoted to an associate professor. Not much longer, to be exact, two years later, she was promoted to full professor. After this, she stayed at that job until she decided to establish her own research unit all the way in Rome. Next, we're gonna grab two red solo cups. Then, we're gonna grab some baking soda. After you got your baking soda, then you grab your vinegar. After that, you just dump the baking soda in. And then you have foam. Look at that. Look at all that foam. It looks better than it smells, but... Um, it's still foaming. It's crazy. It's actually pretty nice. After this, she then led to be co-partner of establishing the Institute of Cell Biology in Rome. So she had two institutes in Rome. And... She didn't stop there. She then became its first director and was led to retire from the University of Washington and get a job in Rome as a professor. Not too much later, she went back to her science tricks. In 1986, she actually won the Nobel Prize with her partner, Stanley Cohen, in psychology. Um, 
15 years later, 2001, she was elected senator for life. She went from little kid to senator, a senator of the United States. It's amazing. But next, our last and final experiment. First, in one cup, we're gonna put dish soap. Good, good amount of dish soap. Then hydrogen peroxide. Um, also, okay. You do that, mix that cup up. Okay, once that cup is mixed up, you're gonna grab your yeast, dry yeast, put it in there. Boom. And you're gonna grab some water, mix it with the dry yeast. If this works correctly, it should. Um, it's supposed to explode with only the ingredients provided, which is really cool actually. Because the ingredients provided make it explode. Oh no. It makes it explode. Um, after this, a year later, after she was elected senator, she founded another research institution. A year late, um, she then continued to be senator till December 30th, 2012, when she met her very unfortunate sad death at the age of 103. Bye guys. Hope. We can be together on the next podcast of Dr. Pitt. See you guys another time. Keep, keep science going.